In the opening scenes of the film, we meet a character named Carol, formerly a doctor, now confined within a hospital storeroom. Her stuff and medicines are all over the place. Carol is frantically searching for a medicine that would prevent her from falling asleep, as the consequences of slumber are dire. Meanwhile, numerous individuals can be heard incessantly pounding on the store's door from outside, striving to gain entry. The question remains, what is happening in this perplexing situation? To know all this, we go back to the time a few days ago. It means the story now comes to the past, where we see that a very old aircraft crashes as soon as it lands on the ground. Many pieces of it fall into different parts of the city. Now, where a large part of that aircraft had fallen, many scientists wear these protective suits to observe it and the entire place is blocked off which means no ordinary person was allowed to come there. When the scientists check that part of the aircraft, they see a small alien creature on it, which can live in all kinds of environments means at both low and high temperatures. Now, the one who was examining all these things means the director comes here and when he comes out, a girl comes to him and gives him a small piece of the same aircraft. Now, those small alien creatures were present on this piece as well as he holds that piece, they bite his hand. Die to it, his hand starts bleeding. Then when he goes home, we see his very bad condition at midnight. He starts feeling unwell and his face was looking terrible but the next morning, when he woke up, he was absolutely fine as if nothing had happened to him. He immediately calls his wife whom he has left means, Carol, whom we have seen in the beginning. He says to, Carol, I want to meet my son but she says you can't meet him now we are separated. He replies, he is my son, I can meet him, it's my right but, Carol, ignores his words and disconnects the call. After this, she meets her friend named, Ben, he is also a doctor. She tells, Ben, that her husband wants to meet her son but she doesn't want her son to meet him. Ben, Ben, tells, Carol, that he is his dad, she can't stop his right. That's why the next day she goes to her husband's house to drop her son but here her son is quite surprised to see his dad. Because his dad was now talking to her without any expressions meaning, looking at his face, it didn't look like he was a human. The way humans talk, smile, laugh, sad and become worried, nothing like that was visible on his face. It looked exactly like a robot then we see, Carol, alone at home. Then someone knocks on her door. She opens the door slightly where we see that there is still a chain attached to the door. There is a man outside who tells her that I am a government officer and I want to talk to you. Now, Carol, finds the situation rather peculiar. That's why she says, you wait, I'll be back in two minutes and when she goes inside, the man tries to open the chain and come inside. Carol, sees him doing this and immediately comes back and closes the door. Now the man starts staring at, Carol, from the window. There is no expression on his face and today, Carol, has seen many people like this man having no expressions. She doesn't understand what's going on here but her problems increase when she goes to the office the next morning. Because she sees many people like this on her way who are not talking to each other and stand like a statue. They were looking to one side and walking straight. Means that the expressions were not on their faces either. They were neither happy nor sad nor were they worried about anything nor were they crying. After going to the office, she searches on the internet about this where about two lakh people had written such things. That our loved ones are not the same as before, their behavior and everything has changed completely. Worrying about all these things, she wants to meet her friend, Ben, where there are other doctors too who tells her that the plane that was crashed on the ground. Many alien creatures were seen on it and whatever is happening is happening because of them. Because those alien creatures enter the human body first, they control the mind, and then they control the whole body according to them and whoever is the victim of those alien creatures. He becomes such a waste means that he does not have any emotions or any impressions. After knowing all this, Carol, gets worried. That's why she immediately goes to her husband's house to take her son where there were other people in her husband's house. He tells, Carol, that our son has gone to his friend's house to play with him. That's why, Carol, goes to his room and starts packing his things but when she comes down, the door is closed and all the people in her husband's house surround her from all sides. Seeing this, she asks her husband. What is all this? On which her husband says, When you go to sleep, you will not know anything about waking up. Simply give me one instruction. Support us. The rest will be the same as you are. Your heart, mind, emotions and expressions will remain the same and will not change like us. After knowing all this, Carol, understands that her husband is also a victim of those alien creatures. She gets very scared and tries to run away from there but her husband catches her and pukes green color on her face but, Carol, cleans her mouth. She somehow leaves and runs away with her car but a little ahead, 
She sees that there is a truck in front some people are standing near it and they are also not normal person in fact, they become a victim of those alien creatures. Seeing this, Carol, starts taking her car backwards in fear but there was also a car behind her which hits into her car. Now, Carol, could not get out of here by car. That's why she immediately gets off and starts running from there, where all those people also start running after her. Then she runs and gets on a train and sees that none of the people sitting here have human expressions. It means they are all victims of alien creatures. Carol, does not understand anything what should I do? Then her son's video call comes he tells her that dad has brought me somewhere. I don't know where I am but I'm afraid. Knowing this, she gets worried and was just about to cry meanwhile. The boy sitting in front of her says be absolutely calm don't be worried and don't cry at all. This means you don't have to show any emotions otherwise they will recognize you and they will attack you and make you like them. After which Carol also sits quietly just like them. She sits like a robot but then some other people also come here who were the prey of those alien creatures and they were making a person like them one by one. When a woman sees them, she gets angry and she starts pushing them and shouting at them. Because of it, there is a riot going on all around. After it, all the people present there go to the back of the train but the prey of the alien creatures attack them and make them like them. Only, Carol, is left who somehow runs away from here and when she is leaving the station. Then she also sees these strange people around her. Then she also starts walking like them just like a robot. Here it is shown, that whichever person has such emotions, means that if someone is laughing, crying and troubled, then the police is taking that person with them because now the police is also the prey of those alien creatures. Now, Carol, starts sweating and a policeman comes to her and tells her that there is sweat on her forehead. They will recognize you, that's why you have to go from here because this policeman was also normal till now. He was not the prey of the alien creatures, he was just doing it like this. That I am also infected with those alien creatures means I am their prey. After this, she goes back to her house and starts shouting at her son but he is not there. After this, she goes to the doctor with, Ben where he tells her that this is actually a kind of virus which goes from one person to another. If this virus goes into a person's body and he sleeps then this virus will control the brain of the person and will spread in the whole body which will make that person its prey. It means this virus will go into the body of the person and will not do its work till the person sleeps. Now these people decide that they will keep an eye on each other so that none of them sleeps. Then the doctor tells her that there is a lab 80 kilometers away from here if we reach there then our treatment can be done but Carol, refuses that I will not go from here without my son. Now their conversation was going on but some people come here who are the victim of this virus. They start searching the whole house. Then these four people quietly leave from there they stand like those people outside. Then, Carol, sees that a woman is being taken by the police who was shouting. This was, Carol's, patient and she keeps saying that I was sleeping. I don't remember anything. Upon hearing this, a question emerges in Carol's thoughts. If she was sleeping then why wasn't she the victim of this virus? After this those doctors who were with, Carol, they go to the lab. While, Carol, goes with her friend, Ben, to find her son. Now, Carol, tells, Ben, the same thing which was going on in her mind. That she is my patient. If she was sleeping then how is she still fine why wasn't she the victim of this virus? After this they decide that they will check that woman's medical report and then when, Ben, sees her medical report and finds out. That that woman has a disease of the brain which happens after chicken pox. This disease affects a small part of that person's brain. This is the reason that even after sleeping she wasn't the victim of this virus but this disease doesn't happen in every person. It only happens in those people who have ever had chicken pox which is a skin disease. Then hearing this, Carol, says my son also had chicken pox and when we got him tested later. Then he also had this disease. This means that my son also can't be the victim of this virus. He is completely safe from this virus. That's why he is calling me again and again because he is fine. Now Ben calls the same doctor who went to the lab and he also reaches the lab. Ben, then he tells her, that the woman we saw who was screaming even after sleeping she wasn't the victim of this virus. Because she also has a mental disease. The doctor immediately says yes, yes, I understand what do you want to say. That we should make this antivirus. But for this we need that woman's blood and DNA. Is she alive right now? Ben, says we don't need that woman. In fact, Carol's, son has a mental disease and if we bring that child then the antivirus can be made. Then, Carol, gets his son's message who tells dad I have been brought to grandma's house so now. Carol, knows where her son is about which she also tells, Ben, but there are infected people outside. It's not easy to get out of here. 
That's when, Carol, remembers and tells, Ben, that I am also a victim of this virus because my husband puked on me and I'm afraid. I might not sleep because if I sleep the virus will take over my mind. After that, Ben, wearing police clothes through the car. Carol, is left at one place to distract the police he drives fast so that everyone can follow him. Carol, leaves from here. Now Carol too walks like infected people and gets on a train where all the passengers were the victims of this virus. They were all quiet. She goes straight to the washroom and when she comes out her son's friend was there. He tells her now my family is gone. After that, Carol, get off the train. Then her husband was standing in front who takes her to his mom's house, but her son was not there. Her husband's mom was also infected. They were all eating but no one could identify that, Carol, is not infected. Because she was doing everything just like them. Meanwhile, Carol, gets a call from her son and she talks to him very carefully so that no one doubt her. Here in the talks, she comes to know where her son is. Very soon she reaches her son. Both mother and son hug each other. After it, she takes her son and leaves from here but her husband and his men see them leaving. That's why they start following her. Then Carol, Carol, and her son run and come to a basement where behind them. Carol's, husband had also come who sees them. He holds his son and tries to kill him because now there was no emotion in him. That he is my son. But before he killed her, Carol, attacks with a rod and kills him. After which she takes her son and comes to a hospital store. Where there were many medicines. Then she fills a medicine in the injection gives it to her son and says if I sleep then put it in my heart. Gets a call from. Ben, who tells her that my son is with me and we are in a hospital store. Ben, says soon, I will also reach there. Now, Carol, was very sleepy but she could not sleep. When she will wake up after sleeping she will be infected. Because her son was tired that's why he sleeps after which she starts looking for the medicine not to sleep and this is the same scene from where the story began. Infected people are knocking on the door to come inside. She does not open the door. She has not slept for many hours that's why now she falls asleep. When her son sees that my mom is asleep he puts the injection in Carol's heart. She wakes up immediately, she did not sleep completely. Then, Ben, also comes here. Seeing him, she becomes very happy and huge him very soon she realizes that Ben is also a victim of that virus. Then she quickly shouts at him, Ben, says. One day you told me that there should be peace in the whole world there should be no fight. Now see because of this virus it happened people do not fight with each other. Because there is no emotion. No feeling in them that's why there is peace everywhere. All kinds of evil from the world will end. After saying this, he opens the door so that those infected people come inside. Then, Carol, asks while crying, I will be the victim of the virus but what will happen to people like my son? Ben says those who cannot be the victim of this virus in our world they have no place. All those people move forward to end his son but then, Carol, shuts on them and end everyone but soon. She shoots. Ben, and injures him and then takes her son out of here and sit in the car and run away from here. Many cars follow him because they all want to kill him. All of a sudden a car comes and collides with his car. Because of that accident, she fainted at once. After that the virus's victims surround their car from all sides, but before that they break the car window, she comes to her senses and starts driving the car again. Then she gets a call from the doctor who was in the lab. He says to, Carol, we need your son to make the vaccine, where are you? So she tells him where I am, after a while he comes here through the helicopter and tells, Carol, to come to the roof of the building. Then, Carol, starts going to the roof with her son through the lift but still a lot of infected people are following her but somehow she reaches the roof, then the doctor takes her in the helicopter and leaves, after which they all come to the lab with, Carol's, son. With the help of her DNA and blood, the vaccine is made of this virus, after which all infected people are started to be cured one by one. After some time, almost everyone gets well, don't remember anything, what did they do when they got infected, they didn't remember. Ben, was among them who got married to Carol, he was also a friend of, Carol's, son who was living with them, because his family was dead. In this new life, everyone was very happy together and with it, this movie ends here.